Hello and welcome back to today's video. So this is the uh, quad output uh, X-Tech power supply. It uh, looks like it does have some bad pots in it. I'll show you that here in a second. But to get it open, you actually take these screws out here on the sides and the two on the top with, that hold the handle. Then, then the cover comes off. I, <laughs> it took me a little bit to figure that out because I was like, what the heck? These don't come off. But then, yeah, if you take the handle off, then the, the whole top comes off. It's a pretty simple linear power supply. There's, um, it's not a switch mode. It's um, got this big uh, toroid transformer. And if you look, it is not a shorted turn because that's um, that happens a lot. If you mount one of these toroids, there's actually a rubber washer on the other side. Otherwise, you get one turn through the case. And because it's a toroid, uh, you end up with current flowing through the case as a single shorted turn. So they they obviously have found that out and they put a, um, uh, there's a rubber washer there to prevent that happening. Otherwise it would draw a ton of power because you're always burning up a bunch of energy in that one turn. But uh, I got the little relays down in here that select the different taps. So it looks like they can, they've got four taps coming in here. Unfortunately, they've decided to, um, they probably had too much current and it was melting connectors so they decided to solder the wires directly to the pins of the connectors so the red and black here are the ones that run over to the front to the two terminals which is going to make it a little difficult to remove the front board to swap out the pots simply because uh, you're going to have to cut some wires it's not like they did it to save cost because back here they use the correct connector that's for that exact same, so it wasn't like a shortage or anything. And then everywhere else they used connectors. My guess is that uh, they had some too much current and were overheating the, uh, probably had some melting plugs. And uh, people complained, and so they went ahead and replaced it. Or that was their fix. The same is done on the other side. They're both identical on either side. Um, so, yeah. <laughs> well, uh... It'll make it a little bit more difficult. But anyways, uh, I've got the scope hooked up to the good current limit pot. And I um, can go ahead and show you. So I'm just going to turn this. And if you watch on the scope here, well, let me go to a speed that... There you go. You can see, oh, look at that. Nice and smooth. So that's all the way up, all the way down the way it should be nice and smooth so I'm gonna pause the video and then I'm going to switch over to the other side real quick and you'll see the difference okay I've unpaused it and now we're on to the other pot and already you can tell it's a little noisier signal I'm gonna go ahead and move the uh... yeah see how much more noisy it is if I push on it, I can actually get a, a nice good line, but it looks like it's going open circuit every once in a while. So let me go ahead and slow that down. Yeah, yeah it's definitely got issues. Uh, you can get it in spots where it does actually just have behaves horribly so yeah it's definitely not smooth like the other one is and there are definitely spots where it's bad anyways yeah I suspect the Oh wait, is it starting to work? Maybe it just needs a little bit of self-cleaning. Hey, you know what? I think that might have fixed it. Oh, I think it did. It's nice and smooth now. Oh, does it... Does the screen freak out now?
Maybe we don't need to replace the pots. Oh, it is actually working now. Look. I mean, it makes sense if you look at the scope. It was noisy before, but now it's like a perfect line. Focus. Focus. Yeah, it is, uh, I wonder if I can do that to the other supply, too. This sucker might be perfectly fine. Yeah, I can push on it, and it doesn't... No, I think we've cleaned off whatever corrosion was actually on the pot. You guys saw it. I got it on video. <laughs> yeah, you know what? I'm going to do that to the other supply. The one that was acting funny. And uh, I bet that'll fix it too. I think we just had some corrosion on the pots. That's amazing. Anyways, uh, yeah, so I guess I don't have to take it. Well, I, I do want to fix it so that the on-off switch actually, you can adjust the voltages with the supplies off. Because that's annoying that you have to have the supplies on to adjust the voltage. Yeah, it's pretty cool. It looks like that fixed it. Yeah. Nice and smooth now. Cool. <laughs> Anyways. Um, yeah, thanks for watching. I'm going to go see if that fixes the other one. Let me, let me actually... We can flip over to it. And just start... Maybe that was all that was wrong, is there was a bunch of corrosion on it. That fix it? Oh, uh, you know what? I think it did. Yeah, it doesn't jump around anymore. Well, that was an easy fix. Now, my phone is like updating or something, so now it's going really. It's really choppy. Uh, now it's done. But, uh, yeah, that's, that fixed it. Huh. Who would have guessed? Oh, look, my phone is doing something, and it's really...